it's that ability to exist and know that you're safe just to exist and you don't have to do anything. So perfectionism is a big one as well. And I've met a lot of people who are like, oh, I don't have perfectionism. And I'm like, but what about moral perfectionism? And they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, there, there was a big one this year. I said to one of my clients, we're talking about boundaries. And she said, but how can I put that boundary in? Like, I understand that you're saying that I need a boundary and I understand that's actually true. But how can it be true if when I put this boundary in, somebody is going to get upset? What kind of person would that make me and I was like hang on a minute this is where my NLP training comes in I listen to what people say and I can often from context make a very good guess about what their belief is so I said to her, hang on a minute are you telling me that you believe that a genuinely good person would never hurt anyone's feelings ever and she was like yeah and I just looked at her and she was like oh my god is that not true I was like no no it's not <laughs> and that's moral perfectionism so it's this idea that everything you do say has to never cause any bit of negativity ever.